Welcome back. Let's take a look at our quiz problem based on a recent game that I've played. And then after we get through this, um, we'll try to figure out how best to uh, play openings in this next game. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, we're going to have to reload this. Yeah, it's nice, as you were mentioning, to have a German keyboard, you could easily type in uh, umlauts above the characters. Whereas on, like, a U.S. keyboard, you'd have to do some manipulation of the key uh, keys somehow. Uh, so in the game, if I remember correctly, I took this rook. Um, and then after the game... Wait, I don't remember what I did. I don't remember what would be best to do. I think having exchanged the rooks here would keep my attack moving, whereas dropping the pawn blocked all of my pieces, and that's what I did in the game. So in this case, uh, yeah, the exchange would have been simpler, and they would take back... Ooh, this is noisy. Sorry, forgive the echo. Let's turn that down a touch. Um, all right. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we exchange rooks here. And then defend our position. And eventually uh, the bishop drop, rook drop, etc. are going to make work of their castle. <laughs> Boom! Now everyone's awake. Sorry about that. Um, right. Well, that's our warm-up problem. Um, Let's give this a shot playing a few games on Show You Wars. If you weren't awake before, now you are. Good luck. Alright. Let's open this bishop line. Okay. Um, just for fun, let's play the rook here. See if I remember any of this. Um, don't remember that move. So I can defend my center heavily like this. Make sure not to hang all of my things at once. Okay, so there's not going to be some trick with me exchanging bishops here. Um, it'd be a bit aggressive for them to push this pawn twice so early. I could exchange bishops now. And lure the king into this bishop line. Okay, let's do that. I don't know why they would allow such a thing. But no, I don't really feel like playing my king into the corner immediately. Um... So, hang on, I could also activate my rook, but that exposes the rook a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to build this castle and some variation thereof. Um, I really don't feel like building uh, the Anaguma with my king in the corner today. Right, so I block my rook, and then let's take some space. All right, let's take some more space. Um, this is curious. All right, so I can continue claiming all the space in the name of Mars. Isn't it lovely? Um, so yeah, they've hit a point where they have to pick which pawn to move, right? And then based on which one they move, I somehow am supposed to respond in a way that doesn't hang everything. I think that's how it goes, because otherwise they'd be bringing this uh, gold up and that'd just be crazy. That'd be extremely risky. 
So they're not doing that. Um, I can't profitably drop my bishop here. Um, <laughs> and, yep. There's a quote. A quote that goes way back, eh? Um, okay, wait. That leaves a hole back here. That's like the one thing I need to avoid doing. Hmm. Hmm. So how do I make progress if I'm not risking that hole? Um, I could push this pawn. There's problems with that. But yeah, our opponent's moving over here. Okay, let's just try to work around our silver, I guess. So this will allow me to bring my silver up and gold up and knight up. Um, I don't even know if I want to do all of that. I just can't figure out what to do. Since my silver blocks my knight, and uh, I'm needing to stop this rook from advancing. So my rook has to emerge somewhere. Meanwhile, their silver is blocking their knight. Okay, so they proceed in obvious fashion. Um... I prevent the silver from going to the edge. So if they want to make progress, I don't know how that's going to happen. If the rook moves over, I have a bishop drop. If the rook doesn't move over, I might have a bishop drop here. Um, okay. We combat this knight. If they don't do anything, I could push this pawn again and again, and then my rook invades. So, something's about to happen. I don't know what, but something. And by about to, I mean maybe in the next 50 turns. Depends how ambitious my attack is. Whenever and wherever I choose to conduct that. Um, when I... <laughs> crazy idea would be bringing out the knight to take the pawn. Silver takes, push this pawn, and then if silvers get exchanged, the rook comes up here. And I don't have a next move. So that would be crazy. Also, this knight could just take back my knight. So that ain't it. Yeah, I've not balanced my position very well. Um, that said, this looks modestly interesting, right? They're going to be so paranoid about a bishop drop happening. I guess what I could do is bring this silver up the board push this pawn. Alright. Um, Cause like, what are they gonna do? If I advance the silver, they push this pawn, I take. They don't have another pawn to do anything with. Um, so, this is maybe too ambitious, but 
played. This is... I don't get it. Either I should have pushed my Rook Pawn um, and hoped that the tactics work out for me. Yeah, or they have to deal with my Silver Advancement. And here, my Bishop Drop doesn't immediately benefit me, but... Well, actually, I could push my Center Pawn. That could be fun. If you like danger. Um, Alright, here we go. What is this? They don't have another pawn to drop. So, I guess they're dropping a bishop here. But that bishop drop doesn't do anything either. And if they do that, I can just retreat here. So... That's a position. Um, meanwhile, I'm still threatening to push this. I could also consider pushing on this edge to open up my lance. Okay, that doesn't... They're not going to let me do that. Um... Mm hmm could move my knight, which would be risky. Long. Yeah, no, it's too risky. If I exchange pawns, that's also risky. But then I hit this gold. Go um, hmm. Screw it. All right. Ah, there's a pawn exchange. Okay, I could block that. Um... Hmm. I don't need to block this. This position's fine. Maybe I should have dropped a lance here. My timer's ticking. I'm moving hastily. I'm probably going to regret what I've done. Um, but it's still fun, right? So if they take this pawn, I could drop a pawn here. Mm, a pawn there, uh, I guess, is best. I don't know. <sighs> It'd help if I had something, a clear shot here. Um... All right, I don't know where that's going. I don't know where I'm going next here either. If I take the rook, and then if I take the knight... Hmm... I don't know. I could take a silver here multiple different ways. Um... I'm going to bank on this. This looks interesting.
So here I am trying to activate my rook. 2分30秒 Alright, they attack my rook. I can just run. Let's do that. Hmm. Okay, that hits my castle. My four gear pieces. Take one of these. Um. Oh. That seems problematic. All right. Let's see. How long I survived that? Not long. Alright. Thanks for the game. Alright, one game down. Two to go. Yeah. That could have ended better. Well, we built the wrong castle and didn't defend correctly. Good luck. So, what can we expect to happen? Maybe this is too much. I wonder. Hmm. I'm not going to repeat the same thing I did last game, where I exchanged bishops and then got a position I couldn't figure out. We're not doing that two games in a row. Not intentionally, anyway. Alright, let's try to defend things this way, just for fun. Hmm, wait a second. Maybe this isn't as fun as I thought. Maybe, like, they drop a pawn, a silver up to fork the rook and pawn, rook up, silver takes pawn, rook takes here as a fork. That gets tricky. I thought this was fine. I could drop a pawn here and then take this one, but that's no fun. Wait, silver up and I could exchange rooks. And I don't see a devastating rook drop. Um, Alright, let's see where this ends up. Hmm. I guess that's true. And good isn't always fun either, is it? I mean, good is usually fun. At some point, you've got to be enjoying it if you're playing good moves. Um. But yeah. I tend to get caught up in these exciting moments and play moves that, I don't know, seem a bit absurd. I think this opening experiment has worked, which is probably the surest sign that it hasn't. Um, I, I play crazy openings. I still... Yeah, I've still been neglecting my studies. Um, surprise, surprise, right? 
Wait a second. Pawn drop takes. Pawn drop, rook back, rook drop, gold up. They can defend. It is possible to defend. So, therefore, dropping a pawn to win a tempo is not brilliant because gold up, rook drop. Yeah, and this. They can defend that. Um. Actually, why am I cons well, I'm considering dropping there because I want to have an initiative somewhere. Um, all right, so their hand is currently empty, so we'll play off of that. Yeah, I played like the king's gambit with bishop c4 after one opponent crushed me in it um, in a tournament game. I've been playing it um, online since, and that's been fun. Alright, so they're going to attack my bishop's head, which is severely exposed. And it's a bit late for me to do something easy about that because I was irresponsible. All right. Um, just complete this shape. Back one we go. Oh. Hello. Um... Why we're going here, I don't know, but um, this is a place. Nanafun. Hmm. All right, I'll bite. Let's see where this ends up. Hmm. I thought I had multiple ways to follow this up. I'm now thinking I'm mistaken. Um. <laughs> Alright, this is risky as heck, but... We'll see. Ultimately, to for my attack to prevail, I'll want to attack on this file. So this is one step in that direction. Um, that's incredible. I don't know if he's testing my patience or what. Um, oh, he's intending to push here and force my hand a bit. All right, I'm going to take this. And then I have a fork. And they had to have seen this, or imagined it. Um, maybe they're playing 
in such a style as I am. Yeah. Um. Go fun. So I could take this lance, but I don't... Well, okay. Maybe bishop drop following taking this would have been great. Uh, I don't believe in the taking a lance being as effective as punching over here. So that's why I'm punching here first. But if they drop something to force my bishop to move, um, yeah, then we'll try this out. Um. They can block this attack with a rook. They don't have anything else to block with, um, so... This could be... Yeah, they might have to interpose the knight. Um, but then I can drop another bishop somewhere. And then pick off the knight. Or I could use the bishop to aim at the knight, which would be a bit heavy. Um, but the key point is they're out of pawns, so I can force the pace of the game. If I let them take this pawn, how screwed am I? Not very. Man, where's my cool tactic to decide the game? How come I don't get cool tactics? Alright, fine, we'll do this one. A severely uncool tactic. But, yeah, I'm not seeing a way to... Oh, wait, I mentioned I wanted a hit on this file, didn't I? That was my whole plan. And then I changed course as soon as I didn't get a rook. Well, maybe I can still get the rook this way. Um... If I chase the rook, it moves out of range. We'll use this to aim at the rook. They push, I attack, they move the rook up, I attack it again. It moves over, I drop a pawn to hit it again. Or actually another lance to hit it again. So that rook's mine. Um... Although, if they move the rook over, horse here might be my best attack. If I have a mate. I don't think I have mate. Um. Alright, that's one way to defend a rook. I'm not claiming it's a successful way. Um. They have a pawn in hand. Sure. They must really want my lances, I guess. <laughs> yeah, why can't we all get cool tactics? Imagine if Shogi had a puzzle mode, where instead of having to fight the whole game, you just get the cool puzzle parts of it. Alright, so we might be up a few pieces. Maybe.
三分。Wait, I have a rook drop. It'd be nice if. Okay. I have a rook drop. Let's not be blind today. All right. See, rooks are nice pieces. Oh, this bishop covers that square. Wait, but it was covering that last turn too. Okay, so I didn't do anything subtly brilliant there. I just. All right, bishop takes next as mate. Thanks for the game. Alright, we were playing boldly that game, uh, as was our opponent. We came out on top somehow. Can't lose them all. Good luck. Alright, here we go. Not going to exchange the bishops this time. We did that once already today. Okay. Um. Why would you do that? Probably for the same reasons that I play this, but sure. Alright. Now, many games I've just exchanged off my Vanguard Pawn for emotional reasons. Turns out you can actually do better than that. Um, okay, they've blocked their bishop. We're going to claim this space before it becomes unclaimable. Um, I think I know what they're up to. Yep, I knew it. All right, so what now? Let's drop the rook back. Oh, my rook blocks my gold general. I've done that before. All right, and then hold this up. Take some space over here. Use this to cut the rook. Um. <laughs> Find a good move. Sure, why not? All right, they intend to hit here. So we'll try to defend that. Um, oh, that's not my rook. That's my gold. All right, so... I wonder how bad that move is. Hmm. All right, so I control this point. Um, like I was saying. All right, so if I take, I lose a piece, um, but they've blocked their knight. So how are they going to advance? Also, I've blocked my rook. Wait, what is this? All right, so I've blocked my rook, so I don't have a zillion options here. 
we're just going to take what's offered and continue doing that over and over. I think this is my second opponent in a week who's faced this pawn 2 5 thing and so chose to sack against it. I don't know what this idea is. Oh my goodness. Hey, look! Not Super nothing. obvious fork idea. If I just, like, not walked into that, I'd be a piece richer. All right, uh, what do we do now? Hmm. Drop. Drop. Hmm. Oh. This pawn advance is kind of interesting. No, they've that. This is covered by that. Um. Yeah, let's activate my rook. Rook and a pawn are okay. Um, so the next thing is that maybe I don't want this escaping with tempo. Um, I'm not sure how best to defend it. Okay, so we're going to activate my rook. They have a lance. Well, let's see how much I've missed. They can drop something on my knight's head and gradually burrow their way out of here. Meanwhile, I'm threatening a bishop draw. Okay. That's possible. Um. Go for me. Stam silver. All right, we take this. Are they seriously going to? They do block their horse into the corner and drop their only pawn. Fine. Um,
3分2分30秒 It's a tough position. I think this is my most logical try here. So we're just going to keep attacking toward the castle、uh, using what we've got. This gold is hanging, so maybe I want to not completely hang it. Um. Maybe I'll regret that move. I don't know. Finally, they moved their silver. Alright. Why not? We've been patient thus far. But,、um, there's stuff to attack on this board. That move. Oh, okay, I can't drop this.、Um, They do have silver takes here, I suppose.、Um, That wasn't smart. But was it fun? Time will tell. Nope. How about this one? This is gonna suck. Sanjubio.
20秒10秒 I'm just a wee bit checkmated here. Thanks for the game. Alright, have a good night, Melkor. Alright, three games today. Um, three outcomes. Well, two outcomes, really. Um, so, yeah. It helps. Okay, first of all, game one, I played a bishop exchange, and I'm not extremely familiar with how to play such positions. So that's something maybe I should take on as either don't do this as often or learn it a bit better somehow. Um, but yeah, the other games, reading carefully would help. Time management would help with reading carefully, etc., etc. So we'll see what we can learn. Hope these were fun.